folks so you uh, find me here in the uh, workshop I'm just making the door now for the uh, porch um, but I've I spent half the morning just selecting the timber first uh, because I want it quarter sawn finished so when it shows the rays at the front of it but I'll turn you around and just show you some of that so let's just get you around there so there's the components I've cut them all planed one side okay so you've got two styles um, mid row, top row, bottom row, and mullion or muntin. Some people say muntin. Okay, and then I've got over here, just here, I've got all the glazing bars. So I've got two long glazing bars and then the shorts in between. Uh, I've only done it that way because I'm just running out a bit of material and I didn't want to cut into a big plank for that. Um, so if you have a look, I don't know if you can pick up the figure. Okay, so you get these lovely mouldery rays coming through all through the uh, timber. It's the flex. And I like I explained before, it's the, the way the timber's cut on the quarter sawn. So if we look down the end grain, if it's possible, uh, if you can see here, let me put my knee up against it, you can see that the lines near enough go straight across. Okay, and what that means in woodworking terms. It's the most stable way you can have timber, okay? Uh, I've been looking at quite a few different people around here making stuff and that, uh, other carpenters and that, but they don't seem to uh, look at that. They don't, they just grab timber. If they're making a door or window and they just make it from what stock they've got, they don't actually select it for the quarter saw and for its job because you want a door when it's built or a window to have stability so it don't warp or twist or bow shame if you're making like you'll see in the future when i make kitchen i'm going to hand make a kitchen from scratch and uh it will it will be all made on the quarter sawn yeah so all the uh the doors will be stable they won't warp and twist but uh look at that that just looks beautiful now this is a uh, french oak again it's brown oak same as the sashes uh, it's selected brown oak, which is a selected quartz sawn, um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's probably my favourite oak of all of them, really. It just is so robust, strong, long-lasting, uh, doesn't twist or turn, 
and just the figure looks beautiful um it's like i said before it's caused by that by a fungus uh, but it doesn't affect the wood it's just the coloring but uh, yeah just thought i'd show you that first and then i'll show you as i go progress i start to make the joinery all right actually i'm going to show you a little drawing of what the door is going to look like so here we go this is the drawing <coughs> i've just sketched up um this shows the top row mid row bottom row two styles glazing bars and then two raised and filled panels with a mullion through the center so this will be all solid all this the framework and then there's solid panels as well uh, then panels are going to be roughly about inch and three eighths roughly in the thickness so they're going to be heavy duty the glazing bar is going to be the same as what's on the sashes so same dimensions which i'll show you quickly which is basically that okay that becomes a glazing bar this was an off-cut bit rubbishy but i've just kept me the uh dimensions to copy but anyway there's the door so that's what i'm going to uh, gonna try and achieve now well i will achieve i will get it done and i'm gonna put a little bit of a swept head in there at the top i'm debating whether to have a swept head on the inside as well or not I'm not sure yet just gonna sort of go along as i go along and set it up because i still have to set it up at this point for its tenons to come through and then this can all be done after slightly yeah so i'll see uh because it's such a wide expanse on the doorway the arch will go up higher you see and it makes these top glass a lot longer so it breaks up the proportions so i've got to be careful i want to try and get that right uh that just means moving up this but i'm trying to line it up with the the sash you, you imagine the uh the sashes that are next door to it sort of like that yeah and i want to li line up these glazing bars so they line up so that's going to be a little bit of a carpet trickery there but anyway, I just thought I'd show you that so you can give you an idea of what I'm up to. And I need to get this done now because I want to get this porch to a finish. And then I can start the workshop. Hey, hey. Okay, folks. So I've now got the door dry fitted together. All the glazing bars are in. As you can see, each pane is the same size, which I tried to wanted to achieve. I was going to put an arch in the inside but decided not to because i want to keep because it's big a big area i wanted to keep it even as possible but the top now i've just got an arch to go in the frame and glue it all up i want to give you a bit more detail on the uh panels so these are the raised and filled panels i made okay so i don't know if you can see my hands are filthy sorry um but you can see there's a bump there bumps up uh which is a nice s shape on the uh filthy panel i've just got a because this is dry at the moment this is not this joint here will push up in a minute so that bottom's got to come up a bit more um but i just squeezed it together at the moment so all the glazing bars are in now get them glued up uh they're still moving a little bit because obviously they're not glued but uh tell me what you think it's quite a lot of work in a door like that you know it's taking me best part of three days nearly from uh run it up from one bit of tim you know one solid bits of timber cutting it up gluing the panels together blah 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 you've got double tenons as well in here and uh they'll be wedged in there with wedges like these show you them there okay and then in there uh, before i assemble it i'm going to just put in some draw dowels in the uh, framework same in here to pull it or one in there maybe i'm not sure one or two just to pull these all up um but a solid brown oak and uh whoop, and he tripped over the wire <laughs> the state of my workshop there ain't a workshop really it's just our old it's going to be our dining room one day but um yeah just is what it is but uh, i can still work and still get these things done which is the important bit anyway guys thought you might like to see that <laughs> 